Camp Claiborne. Uh, I became a member of the 398th Engineer Regiment General Service, which was just being formed. And everybody in it, except a very small cadre of non-coms, was rookies, including the officers. And uh, that, that was kind of interesting. Since I had a little bit of uh, ROTC, both high school and and A and M and Boy Scouts, they made me a corporal. <laughs> I knew I would set up a pup tent. Be spry. That, that's gonna be real useful. Yeah, well, when nobody else know it, does knows how. We pulled into Nordhausen in the afternoon. We found these apartment buildings. They were quite nice. Uh, fairly large buildings, and there were several of them. They were spaced maybe 100 feet apart, something like that. After we'd been in there a while, um, one of the guys came up and he had a funny look on his face and says, come with me, and we all went over next door. We got next door, and there was a stink coming out of there, a big stench. And we went in there, and our, our medics were in there, and they had all of these people that were nearly dead. And they were you know, feeding them a little teaspoon at a time of hot chocolate or something, you know. If they fed them very much, they'd get sick and die. Get sicker and die, you know. They were just barely alive. And, uh, and the smell was the smell of death. And so they told us where it came from, where it came from. We all got in our truck and we went out there to the camp. I know I didn't see all of it. The, uh, what I saw was all of these dead people laid outdoors there on the ground. And it looked like acres of them. And, and they were, you know, they've been, been living in there and, and, and there was others in there that were, they hadn't brought out and, and all. And, just a terrible scene. It still bothers me. We went back to her apartment. And the guys in my squad were as fine young men as they come, you know. Um, were just, well, uh, uh, nobody was saying a word, you know, it just, uh, almost like they'd forgotten how to talk or something, you know what I mean? It just affected him so much.